Hey everybody. Today we're going to be doing a quick video on NFS and SMB shares. This is a request done through the Discord channel. I want to just cover not just creating shares. I've already done that in another video, but also how do I mount those shares on other computers? So if I'm actually creating an SMB share with the idea of sharing it to my Windows machine, how do I mount it on Windows? And if I create an NFS share that's usually done between two Linux machines, how do I actually mount that on another machine running Linux? So let's talk about that today. Let's start by looking at our data sets. And uh, the media data set is probably the most commonly shared one. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an SMB share out of our media data set. Uh, so it's already selected the correct path for me. We're good. I'm going to click save just like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to want to restart the service in this case because my service is already running. Um, I'm going to want to configure the share ACL. Uh, and right here, what I want to do is I want to add my user that I'm going to make for this, but I haven't made a user yet. So let's come over here to my credentials, to my users, mm -hmm. and I'm going to want to create a user. So let's create the user. I'm just going to call this user YouTube. Mm -hmm. and my password is going to be YouTube. Really secure, obviously, but just for the purposes of this video. Uh, I'm going to leave everything else the same. I definitely want to make sure any user I create has the SMB user selected there, which is great. Okay, hit save. It's gonna save my stuff. Now I'm gonna come back out to my data set again, and I'm gonna manage, let's go to my media, and I'm gonna manage my SMB share. There it is, my SMB is running. It's gonna show me my share. There's my share. So I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna hit my edit my share ACL, and I'm gonna to wanna to add somebody here. I'm gonna to wanna to add a user. The user I just created is YouTube, and I wanna do full control, and that's fine, so I'm just gonna hit save. There we go. So now I'm going to click and drag over here my Windows Virtual Machine. Let's move them right over on top so you guys can see everything like that. Okay, I'm going to want to click my little folder icon right here. And now over where it says Network, I'm going to want to right click. And I'm going to want to click Map Network Drive. Now it's going to pick a letter for you. It's fine. If you want to change it, you can. In Folder, I want to use the example that's right here. So I'm going to use this double backslash. And I'm going to say, what's my true NAS server? It's a 10.99.0.191. That's my IP. Another backslash. And now, mind you, these slashes are not the ones that are next to my shift key like I would put in the URL bar uh, of a web browser. These are the backslash keys. They're above the enter key. Uh, so the folder, what, what is my folder? So my folder in this case is going to be this name right here, SMB. All right. So let's come back over here. So the share is named SMB. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's come back. It's named media. So SMB name media. That's the share. Okay, so you guys are probably gonna wanna reconnect sign in if you have this permanently mounted in the same home. I'm not gonna do that because it's just a virtual machine. I'm gonna wanna connect using different credentials than the name I logged in as because I try to create a user. So let's come over here. The YouTube user is the one that I created. So that's the one I have to log in as. So I'm gonna click okay. And there it is. There is my media drive on 1099.0.191. As you can see, everything here. Now, these folders are empty because I'm just using it for demonstration purposes, but the fact that you see them lets you know that this is actually mounted from TrueNOS. So there we go. Uh, I'm going to eject this mount right now. Disconnect. Yes, I do. And then I'm just going to shut down this Windows machine. And then we're going to do an NFS share. Okay, so I'm going to actually delete this because I don't want to leave this in the share right now. We're going to do another share. Okay, let's go back to my data sets. Let's look at the stacks directory this time. This actually has a bunch of stuff underneath it. So we're going to want to create a share here. Now you'll notice here the roles, because it's already mounted to the apps data set, it doesn't prompt me to make a share. So I'm going to have to come over here to shares and actually create it under my Unix NFS, my Unix NFS shares. So I'm going to select mount tank stacks and I'm going to leave everything else the same. I'm going to hit save just like that. Now, in order for me to mount this, whoever's going to mount it is going to need permissions. I'm going to show you what that looks like. So here's my terminal for my actual Fedora machine. So first thing I want to do is come in as root. Okay. Now what I want to do is I'm going to actually make the mount. So I'm going to do a sudo mount type is NFS, just like that. And now I want to know well, Fedora wants to know, where are you mounting from? So in my case, I'm mounting my TrueNOS machine. And then where in TrueNOS is what you're mounting. So in my case, it's in mount 
tank stacks. So just to go over that again, mount the type flag is NFS, the server IP address, colon, and then the drive path. Just like that. Now it's going to want to know, hey, where do you want to mount this to? In my case, I'm going to mount it to my, just my mount directory, just like that. I'm going to hit enter. Now, notice how it did nothing. It just didn't say anything back to me. That's Linux way of letting you know that something actually went right. So let's do a df-h. And all the way at the bottom, this is the last thing I mounted. This is my mount tank stacks. And this is where it's mounted to. So that worked. So now let's clear the screen. Uh, let's do a cd slash like that, ls dash l. Okay. So everything should be mounted at mount right now. So let's change directory to mount. Look at that, permission denied. So we have to make a quick change. Notice that before on the SMB share, we added the user for the SMB. We haven't done that yet for the NFS share. Now for the NFS share, it's a little bit different. So what we want to want to do is we want to go over to our shoe data protect, our data set, excuse me. Let's go back to our stacks directory. And we're going to want to edit this ACL. Right now, the only people that have access to this are apps, the built-in administrators, the built-in users, and root. My other machine, my Fedora machine, is not listed here. So there's two ways to go about this. Either I can list my Fedora machine specifically by creating a user that's got the same name on this machine, my TrueNOS machine, as on my Fedora, or I can just give everybody access. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to give everyone access for the purposes of this video. But if you guys want to do this a little more securely, basically you just go in and go to your credentials and create a user that's got the same user ID as the system that you're mounting to. I'm just going to give everyone full permissions right now just to show you guys in this video. I'm going to save access control list. There we go. So now let's come back to my terminal and I'm going to try the same thing again. Oh, see how I didn't get a permission denied? There we go. But I did get a bunch of permission denied for all the subdirectories. You'll notice that I can see the subdirectories, but if I try and say, change directory to my R stack, for example, I can't do it. The reason for that is, again, permissions. So let's come over here to our shell. And I'll show you guys. So let's do a CD mount tank uh, stacks. Let's just look at mount tank first. You'll see our stacks directory has now got the last RWX in it, which means that everyone now has permission for read, write, and execute. If you haven't seen my video on uh, permissions yet, just the crash course on it, that's what you should know. So these three slashes here means nobody has permission, that only that the everybody else does not have any permissions. If you see all these RWXs here, this means wide open. So let's change to my stacks directory and look in here. You'll notice in here that all of these subdirectories have these last three little dashes. That means the only people that have access to it are the owner, which is the first RWX, and the group, which is the second RWX, in this case, root root. None of these are my Fedora user. So of course, none of my, in Fedora, I can't go into these folders because they don't have even the R. R is what you would need to go into them and just read what's in them. I don't even have that. Fedora's got zero permissions. So if I wanted to give permissions to this, what I would have to do is open up all these permissions here. And there's a few ways to do that. If you're actually interested in doing that, um, you would do a chmod, in this case, 777, uh, for everything looking like that. That would be the command that would do it. There we go. You'll notice now that I've got all the RWXs. So let's come back over to our terminal uh, and let's do another ls-l. And look at that. Now we have access to everything. We didn't get any denied, so I can CD into my R stack like that. Same. So that's it's all permissions-based stuff. Once you get this stuff actually mounted, once you get your drives mounted, if you're having problems traversing, problems editing, problems adding files, it's probably a permissions issue. So I'm just going to close this window right now. We're going to close this terminal. Uh, and we're just going to close. I'm going to go back to my data shares. Where's my shares here? And I'm going to exit this and delete this from being a share. But that's just a basic quick kind of tutorial and overview on how to do shares and how to mount them on the machines that you want to mount them on. If you guys have any questions, please post your comments uh, below. Uh, also, we use your Discord server. That's a great place to get started. Like and subscribe to this channel if you like the content we're putting out. I thank you guys so much for the people that have been so supportive. And if you're really feeling extra generous, please buy me a coffee. You'll see that link shared in the video description. Thanks, guys.